Hi guys, it's Sinead. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming today. I feel like I haven't filmed in such a long time and yeah, I've just taken a bit of a break and relaxed. I'm not sure when you guys will see this video. I'm sure there should be one video up before you see this one, but I just haven't filmed in ages. I took a bit of a break. I've been back at work as well, so I'm just kind of getting back into routine um, with working Monday to Friday because I had um, a couple of weeks off for Christmas and whatnot. So today I'm going to be trying out an eyeshadow palette. I ordered these eyeshadow palettes quite a while ago last year and I just haven't had time to film with them but I can finally try them out today. These are the Pinky Rose palettes. These both like came out I think on the same day. They released on the same day. Um, I've got the Center Stage palette which I think this is the one I'm going to use today. And then I also do have the Bright Lights palette. I'll show you what they both look like. Prepare yourself because these eyeshadow palettes look amazing and I hope they work amazing. So this is the Bright Lights palette. How beautiful is this palette? Like I have no words. It's gorgeous. It's got glitters in here as well. So I really can't wait to try this one out. I think I might film with it next weekend. Um, maybe do some festival makeup looks. Let me know if you want to see a video on this one, but I probably will do it anyway. And today I'm going to use the center stage palette, which looks like this. And again, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I love what this palette looks like. Again, it's got some glitters in here. So it's got this one and this one up here. And then we've got some shimmers as well. Um, me and Jacob were actually swatching these and they just looked like crazy amazing. But anyway, I'm going to get right into it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up for me. It helps me out so much. If you're new, welcome. You can subscribe just clicking the button or clicking the bell button down below. That way you will be notified every time I upload new videos. And also today I white balanced my camera for the very first time in my life. So I hope the coloring's okay. I know I look a little bit dirty, but that's because I've got fresh fake tan on. I hope like the coloring doesn't go like cool to warm. You know how it always goes like more orange and then it goes back to cool? I'm hoping that the lighting just stays, you know, as it is. I don't know. I feel like I need more lights in here. Like I need it to be brighter also, but I've got like two umbrella lights. I've got a ring light and I've got a light above me, like a box light as well. Um, let me know if the lighting is good. Like, I don't know. Should I go brighter? Let me know down below. That would be so helpful. But anyway, let's just get straight into the video. I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids. I have already done my brows off camera but I'll have those products listed down below and I will definitely film an updated brow routine really 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 soon I know you guys want to see that just because I have been using different products but even my last eyebrow routine I still love all of those products to prime my eyes I'm going to use my Tarte shape tape this one's in the color light sand I don't usually always use this one because it is a little bit light um, and sometimes it just looks a little bit too light but it's in front of me so I'm just going to use this one and if you can hear any sounds in the background, that is just Jared watching YouTube videos way too loud. I feel like everyone's partner does that. Every boyfriend, I don't know. They just watch videos like on full volume all the time. I could be here filming. He's on the other side of the house and I can hear it. I'm just going to use my Kmart sponge that I probably should have cleaned before I used it, but we're already here. To set that concealer down, I'm going to use my Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder. This one's in the color Deep Natural. And I'm just using a big Morphe brush. This is a M511 brush. I know it looks like that there's product on this brush, but honestly, it is just stained. Okay, so going in with this eyeshadow palette, I'm going to start off with the color Celebrity, which is kind of like this peachy shade here. And I'm using a Morphe M513 brush. So this eyeshadow is a little bit um, powdery, like it is kicking up a little bit. It doesn't bother me too much. It seems like it's pretty easy to blend out anyway, which is nice. I think it is a little bit light, like you can't really see it that much on my eyelid. But anyway, I'm just blending this through the crease just as a transition color. So when I go in with other colors, they just blend out into it. So now I'm going to take the color Flash and I'm just going to use the same brush. So at the moment, I'm just going to build up 
colour. So again, this shade is quite powdery as well. Um, it is kicking up quite a lot. And I did expect this colour to be a little bit more pigmented. Maybe I shouldn't have set that concealer. But if I don't set the concealer on my eye, I feel like eyeshadows do skip across my eye. So I'm still currently using the same brush. And now I'm going to jump into the colour Star. And I'm only going to use a little bit of this just to bring a little bit more like yellow and warmth. It's a really nice like mustardy colour. I'm just going to lightly kind of dust that around kind of the crease area a little bit higher. Just so it kind of like peeks out. I wish these colours were a little bit more pigmented though. I'm a little bit disappointed with that. I'm just grabbing a little bit of that Australis powder and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone just so the shadow isn't as high up. So now I've just got a Jessup 13 brush which is a little bit more denser. I'm going to start off with Weekend. Hopefully these darker ones are a little bit more pigmented. So this one feels even more like powdery. I think the problem I'm having with these shadows is because they are so soft and powdery when I'm blending them. They're just kind of like blending away to nothing, which is quite disappointing. Because again, I don't know. I was so excited to use this palette, but the pigment is just really not impressing me right now. I might have to use like a different base or something. And in between, I'm going to take a Jessup blending brush and I'm just going to blend the edges. <sighs> I'm pretty disappointed right now because I just cannot build up this colour. It just keeps like falling off my eyelid. I'm just going to do the same to the other eye so at least like it's even. I don't think I've had shadows that have done this in a really long time. Okay guys, I just want you to see something. I'm going to really pack it on and then I'm going to show you when I try to blend it out, like how it just disappears. Got my fluffy brush. And then, like, if I was to blend it, like, as I normally would blend eyeshadow, it's gone and it's fallen down here. It just falls off my eye. So I'm using the same Jessup 13 brush, just because it is quite dense. And I'm going to go into the colour Fame now. This is not how I wanted this to go. Like, I really wanted this to work for me because the eyeshadow palette is so gorgeous. But it is so disappointing right now. It just looks like one colour. Again, this colour is barely showing up. I don't mean to be negative, but I, like, I'm frustrated because when these palettes, like, were going to be released, they had, like, these videos of them, like, swatching them. But, like, not swatching them properly. Like, people were just, like, putting their fingers in the eyeshadow pans and then showing what the colour looked like. And they looked, like, amazing. But I know you can't go off swatches like that because it's just unrealistic. Anyone can rub eyeshadow on their finger and make it look pigmented. Look, I'll show you the colour Star. See how gorgeous that is? The colour Fame, the one that just wouldn't show up. See how gorgeous they look on the finger? I think I'm going to take Coco, which is this kind of like darker brown, and I'm going to use a Morphe M514 brush. I'm going to try and deepen it up if the shadow actually sticks to my eye. Again, I'm going to try and pack it on and then blend it out because I can't get it to go on my eye any other way. I'm going to try out the colour Havana, um, which is the burgundy kind of red. I'm just going to take this on a small echo brush. I'm going to see what this one does. I just feel like I keep taking my eyeshadow off. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm, I'm over it. I'm going to take the colour Basic now because I, yeah, I've used every other colour and I got barely anything on my eyelid except like a patchy, dirty mess that is sticking to weird areas. This is the colour Basic. God, I'm going to hate editing this video because I'm just going to be like, shut up, stop complaining. What is this? Like, should I be continuing with this eyeshadow? This is so ugly. But anyway, I'm going to go in with a lid colour. I'm just going to take one of the shimmer shades. I'm not sure if I'll add the glitter. And if I do, it will probably be afterwards. Um, because I want to put some eyeliner on just to kind of complete the look a little bit more. Because I'm not really feeling the eye look. 
think I might just go in with the colour Glam and I might mix a little bit of Boom in there, maybe more on the brow bone and inner corner. So this is without water. I'm not going to use water. I'm just going to see what this applies like dry. I feel like it's sticking more to the brush than my eyelid. I am going to wet my brush now. I'm just going to take my NYX um, finish spray. That's made a major difference. It looks a little chunky when it's wet, but it looks it looks better. I'm taking a bit of boom and I'm going to put this on the brow bone and my brush is still wet as well. Okay, so I'm going to put liquid liner on now. I'm just going to do like a cat eye kind of thing. This is just the Maybelline Curvitude Eyeliner. So I think I want to do kind of like smoky eyeliner today. So I'm going to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I'm going to take the black shadow out of um, this palette, obviously. And I'm just going to use Italia Jade pencil brush. I really love the black out of this palette. It is so, so pigmented. That's why I always use it kind of for this step. By the way, I'm going to leave a timestamp like down below right now if you want to just kind of skip to my thoughts on the eyeshadow palette. But if you want to see me do the rest of my makeup, feel free to keep watching. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put lashes on, all my face makeup and everything. But if you're purely here for the review, I'm going to have a timestamp down here. And for mascara, I'm going to use my Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Okay, so I've got my lashes on. I use the Nakia Joy Cosmetics lashes. I believe these are in the style Gemma. I'll double check and they'll be listed down below anyway. They're just so nice and big and so like fluffy as well. I just love these lashes. As usual, I'm going to start off with the Benefit Professional Primer. And I'm just going to rub that in where my pores are the largest, which is pretty much all around my nose. So at the moment, I have literally the worst tension headache, like ridiculous. I've been grinding my teeth really bad for ages now, maybe a year. I don't know. I need to go do something about it, I think, because I've just been like, you know, not doing anything about it. So I'm thinking maybe next step is to get Botox like in my jaw so it relaxes the muscles so I'm not grinding because I'm not only grinding at night, I'm like grinding during the day without realizing, like I'm always like clenching my jaw. So my jaw just gets really tired. I've got glitter on my face from my New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. I don't even know where it's coming from. I'm also going to try out this Tarte Brighter Days um, highlighting moisturizer. I've never tried it before, but Jared bought me one of the Tarte gift packs and it looks nice. So I'm going to put this on my face. I think I might put a little bit on my collarbone. For foundation, I'm going to use my Steel Estate All Day foundation. This one's in the color Honey 8. I believe this is now the old packaging to the foundation. There's pretty much almost nothing left in this. Um, I did buy the new one with the new packaging and I'm going to try that out in a first impressions video to see if maybe the formula is any different because you know I love this foundation. You guys know. Let's hope like it's quite similar to the original because I love this one so much. It just works for my skin so well. You guys know I always used to use MAC, but MAC now breaks me out, which is shit. I'm just going to start blending it in with a Morphe E31 brush. Yep, I think that's what it is. I feel like my skin got sense, like more sensitive. As I got older, even like with my skincare routine, I can't use like harsh products on my skin. And because Jared had bought me like that Tarte set and it came with like an eye cream and like a cleanser and everything, I can use the cleanser and the eye cream, but the H2O gel burns my skin, unfortunately. So for concealer, I'm going to start off with my Maybelline Master Conceal. This one's in the color 20 Light. 
I like to bring my concealer on the sides of my nose just to make it look a little bit more narrow. And I'll just highlight a little bit around my mouth and on my forehead. And to get rid of the darkness a little bit underneath my eyes, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one's in the color Natural. I'm also going to quickly contour my nose. I'm going to use my nude sticks. This one's in the color um, light medium, I think. I have to double check that. I'm going to use the light down my nose. And then I'll just contour the sides. For underneath my eyes, I'm going to use my Australis Banana Powder. I'm now taking my Rimmel Translucent Powder and I'm going to just bake my smile line area just to avoid it creasing. And I'll put a little bit just here. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to take my usual Savvy Natural Finish Press Powder. This one's in the color Sand Beige and I'm going to use a Morphe M527 brush. And I'll just dust off that bake while I'm here. I'm just going to use the same brush and take my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Bronzer. I'm just going to bronze up my face. I'm now going to contour my face and because I'm being very lazy today and I'm just pretty much using what is on my desk, I'm going to go back in with that Kat Von D shade and light palette. This is actually for your eyes, it's not for your face, but that's okay, I'm still going to use it for my face. I'm actually going to take this shade here to contour my cheekbones and I'm using a Sigma F05 small contour brush. And honestly, this works completely fine for the face. It is pouring down outside. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but it's coming down pretty damn hard. Going back in with my Rimmel powder again, I just like to clean all of that up. So I'm going to try out this Tarte blush today. Um, I got that in my little like Tarte gift set. It's a really beautiful like kind of peachy color and I think it will go well with the makeup look. And I'm using a Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. And for highlighter, I'm going to use one I have not used in forever and I really don't know why. Um, this is one of the Becca highlighters and this one is in the color Opal. It is so gorgeous. I honestly have not used this in forever. It kind of just got lost in the back of my drawers. And I'm using a Morphe M501 brush. Oh my god, I forgot how beautiful this was. I'm now going to finish off my lower lash line with a bit of eyeshadow. I think you guys already know how I feel about this eyeshadow palette. Um, yeah, I don't really like it at all. So I'm not even going to use it for my lower lash line. I'm like dropping shit everywhere. I'm just going to use my Kat Von D shade and light. I just really don't want to risk trying to put eyeshadow on the lower lash line and it falling out everywhere. I'm just going to mix in some of this peachy shade and a bit of this shade here too. I've also taken a bit of black shadow just to really deepen that up a bit.
Okay, so I've just finished my mascara and a bit of eyeliner. I didn't put too much, just very faintly on the waterline. And for my lip colour, I'm going to try out the Jeffree Star Christmas Cookie Liquid Lipstick. This is one of the newest collections, well, new collection is brought out. It took so long to get to me, like, I don't know, over a month, um, because there was like no stock or anything. But I finally got it the other day. The packaging is so gorgeous. This one's a really beautiful nude colour. I would say it's crossed in between probably mannequin and, what is it, celebrity skin. Okay, so this is a lip colour on and I'm so in love with this colour. It's definitely more pink than mannequin and I love mannequin so much, but this I love I think just as much. The formula feels a little bit different. It doesn't feel as drying. It definitely has set down on the lips. However, it still does have a little bit of um, tackiness to it, I guess, like I'm actually really over really dry liquid lipsticks. I'm really enjoying the ones that almost feel like a bullet lipstick after you've applied it, even though it's in the liquid form. I really like that it's smoother and it's definitely not as dry. It feels much more moisturizing. But anyway, guys, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this video and watched me try out this eyeshadow palette and just do some makeup. You guys do know how I feel about the palette. Um, I personally wouldn't recommend picking it up I was very 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 disappointed I was so excited to use it and seeing you know the finger swatches even though like I don't really believe in them anyway it just looked outstanding and the colors are gorgeous like the palette overall is a gorgeous palette to look at um, very visually pleasing but it didn't cut it for me today I'm so yeah I'm so upset about it I'm sorry if I seemed a bit negative in this video it was more frustration because I was you know I had this creative look in my mind and I wanted to do like a half cut crease but I didn't even get there because I felt so unmotivated because the formula of the shadows just wasn't working. I will give it another go definitely. I think I will have to try it with more of a sticky base and not set my eyeshadow base down which I always do anyway like I, I never not set my eyeshadow base but yeah I'm very disappointed. It just looks like a wash of color on my eye pretty much and you guys saw me dip into a lot of colors. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe, hit the bell button, like I said at the start of the video. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook if you want to. I'm sorry if I seem really flat and I'm talking fast. I'm really, really hungry and I need to go. I need to go right now and go eat. But anyway, I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.